in some shape. <laughs> yeah. Hello, people. Hello. Hey, talk us through the, the final. Uh, it was a great final, and I ran a personal best. Uh, it was a long season for me, but to go out and run a personal best and still get silver uh, lets me know there's amazing talent in this 400 right now. And uh, the only thing I can do is continue to work hard and, and uh, continue to stay motivated and, and, and come out every race and give it my all. Tell us about that last curve and coming home. Oh, I didn't know where I was in the race. You know, the main thing was to go out and execute a race. I was out in lane eight. I uh, felt like I handled it well. Uh, got off the curve and, and and ran like I was supposed to. But the guy who won it was on 43-4 pace. You know, and uh, that's running. That's running. Uh, I hadn't ran well all year, but I'm a championship guy. You know, I love the sport. I love the lights. And I knew I had to just come out and, and execute a race. You know, and that's what I did. And I take the, the, the personal best and I take the silver, I'm going to shine it up really nice and add it to my collection. LaShawn, you, you know, you hadn't been, as you mentioned, running incredibly fast, but you, you kind of remained upbeat the whole season. And, uh, you know, some people were skeptical of saying, I don't know, if Sean may not have it anymore. <laughs> what, what, what was the key to peaking at the exact right time? You know, it, 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 and it wasn't even a, a matter of peaking, you know. Uh, I was injured at the beginning of the season. I was working on some different things my coach wanted me to work on. You know, so the races, none of my races were the same because I was trying to compete and work on things at the same time. You know, and uh, that can throw you off a little bit. So I didn't really have my rhythm. Uh, I didn't have much time to train, but I, I have it here and I have it here. You know, and at these championships, I've been here before, I love this. Uh, and I just went for, for what I knew. You know, I had to execute. Uh, I knew what type of time it was going to take to, to win this. I figured around 43 in the middle. Uh, so I was ready to run that. You know, that still wouldn't have got the goal here, even if I ran 43.5. You know, so it lets me know that it's, it's, it's great talent in the 400 right now. Uh, I'm feeling good. I'm healthy. You know, so that's the, the great thing. I'll go back and train hard for next year and get ready for real. Did you make any mistakes today? You know what? Uh, yeah, probably from the gun until the finish. You know, there's always some things that could have been improved. Uh, the last part of my race, I feel like I got out good. You know, I could have handled the last part a little better. Uh, but I mean, I would have had to run 43-3 uh, to win. You know, was I ready to go that fast? Who knows? You know, I just take what I what I have. I ran a personal best, and uh, I'm pleased with the silver. Alexon, what do you think those young runners bring to the competition? Uh, you know, it just keeps us hungry, keeps us motivated and dedicated. You know, uh, I'm a veteran in the sport, not because I'm old at 29. It's because I've been doing it for 10 years uh, at the highest level. I've always came to these championships and performed well. You know, so knowing that mentally, I said, you know, I have to come out here and I've been here. You know, these guys don't scare me. I'm the big dog here. Uh, I'm going to go out and run well and execute my lane, and that's what I did. It just wasn't enough for the goal, but uh, I'll take it. When you're out there, do you have any idea how fast you're running? Do you think in yeah, yeah, the I, best I, race of my life? Yeah, I, mean, I, I know how fast I'm, I'm running just because I know uh, the momentum I have going in certain parts of the race. Uh, that's why you train. You train and hit certain times and training so you can feel comfortable and have a rhythm uh, once you get into a championship race. A lot of the races all year, like uh, like nationals, you know, the final race at nationals, I could have pressed, I could have pressed it a lot harder, but it wasn't a, a, a final. You know, it wasn't like okay, this is what I've been training for all year. So a lot of the races throughout the year were just trying to get me ready for this race. Before I went out here, I said, you know, this is what I've been training for all year. You know, it's haven't been going well, but I need to put some things I've learned this year and some things that make LaShawn together, you know, and uh, go out and, and run like I know I can run, and that's what I did. Heading into an Olympic year, how, how hungry are you for the uh, goal? Man, I'm hungrier than uh, when I first started. You know, knowing that it's guys in, the, in, the, in, the, in my event who are running 43-4, you know, it just wants me want me, makes me uh, want it that much more. You know, uh, I have a great time off. I enjoy my time off. Uh, you, you need that. You need to get that sanity back, you know, and start to train and be insane to get ready for real. Does it make you think with something this fast that a world record could be possible even at the age of 30 next year? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, uh, like I said, this wasn't even, the, this was probably the worst season for me as far as training and it really getting into some great shape. You know, I got hurt early on in the season. I tried some new things all year, even the first round and the second round uh, of these championships. But I put a great final together and uh, I executed well. With all the titles, you know, you never run faster than you have today. How do you rank rank this one? Uh, 
it could have been better. You know, it could have been better because I could have did a lot more throughout this season uh, to get ready for this. This was pure guts and, and, and execution. You know, I ran a great time, but like I said, it wasn't enough for the goal. But I'll take this, take it in stride. I live to fight another day. I'll, I'll go back and train hard and get ready for the next competition. And did you switch coaches because you, th you knew there was more? Or was uh, you know what, I, I switched coaches because it was something that I, I just wanted to do. You know, uh, different coaches have different philosophies on things. I'm with Brooks Johnson now, and I like the way he kind of do things. So I bought into the program, and, and that's what I, where I am now. Karani, uh, Wade collapsed right after the finish and got taken away in an ambulance. Did you see what happened? I just saw him get taken away in an ambulance. And I don't know what really happened, uh, but I wish him the best. Right.